think we're live. So thank you everyone. I'm just gonna give people a few minutes to jump on. We wanted to give a few updates. We know we've we've been, you know, working hard with all the land back campaign launch stuff. So wanted to take a minute minute to just stop and update folks and just continue to thank everyone for joining us and following us along on this journey. Uh, we also want to give a quick update about land defenders, but we'll we'll give folks a few minutes here to to join us and, and jump on our live stream. Um, again, just want to thank everyone just for for all of the letters and the emails and the support and calling in to like prosecutors' offices for sharing out our posts on social media, uh, following us each week as we update and do all of our lives and do all of our events and. Yeah, just want to continue to give thanks and to continue to be in gratitude as we move forward on this journey. Um, just give folks a few more minutes and we'll get going. I'll do an, a full update of everything that's going on here with the Land Back campaign and also with the Land Defenders as well. Again, just want to thank everyone for jumping on. We're just giving people a few minutes to jump on, everyone to like notice where we're going live. Uh, just continue to give thanks for everyone's support. We're going to do updates on the land defenders, do updates on land back campaign and ways to get involved, ways to engage. So we'll get started here in a second or two. All right, everyone. Apeveshev, mene wo nehev. My name is Crystal Tubles. As many of you probably know, I'm the director of the Land Back Campaign here at Indian Collective. We just wanted to take a minute. You know, we've been moving really fast, and in our whole team, our comms team, our staff, the Land Back Campaign team, we've we've all been like moving really fast and putting on a lot of hours and a lot of work and a lot of energy getting ready for the Land Back Campaign launch on Monday, Indigenous Peoples Day, October 12th. And so we just wanted to take a moment and, and update everyone and, and, you know, just kind of consolidate all of the things that are happening because we know we've been pushing out materials and pushing out things every day and just want to take a minute to update folks. So first, I just want to start with the land defenders, you know, my, you know, my my charges as well. We're all in this long process of, you know, going to hearings and, and whatnot. And so we, we just had our dispositional hearings yesterday here in Rapid City. And now, you know, an actual date for hearings has, another date for hearings has been set out until January 23rd, 2021. And so as we know with COVID, uh, the court's processes are a little bit slower. And so Nick's case is also wrapped up in that time frame. So everything is, is you know, happening really slow at a slow pace. So there's no major updates around that outside of we had dispositional hearings um, and now we have another hearing that's set out until January 23rd. We thank everyone for the continued support and for showing up for us, all of the calls and the emails that have been sent to the prosecutor's office on our behalf demanding that charges be dropped. And we're just asking folks to continue to support and continue to hang in there with us. Um, you know, you can continue to donate to Black Hills Legal Fund. The links will be dropped in our chat box, but please donate, continue to con contribute. Uh, these are, you know, we're anticipating long um, time frames of being wrapped up in these legal processes. Also, the petitions. So we have three peti petitions floating around. Uh, those will also be dropped in the chat box. You know, the first petition is to drop the charges against Nick, who's facing three felonies up to 16 years in prison. And so we want to make sure that we're supporting him in that way and continuing to sign petitions, continue to share those out with your networks, your folks. Also, we have another petition that's demanding to drop the charges of all the land defenders that were arrested on that day. You know, the rest of us are facing one or two misdemeanors as well. And so we want to make sure that we're continuing to support them and to provide the things that they need. Also, the last one is the petition that were, you know, is kind of the the foundation of the land back campaign is basically to demand the closure of Mount Rushmore and the return of that 
land and all public lands back to its original stewards. So those three petitions will be in the chat box along with the website uh, for the legal fund. So please contribute, please continue to support. Um, stay engaged with our social media as we will do our best to keep folks updated on what's going on with the land defenders cases. But again, you know, everything got pushed out until January 2021. Things are super slow. So January 3rd is the next big date with the land defenders. Um, so just wanted to make sure we're giving updates around that and that we're still providing support. You know, we're still continuing to meet with land defenders. We're still providing for needs there and, and just really appreciate everyone and have so much gratitude for all of the support that folks have shown us over this time frame since we were arrested on July 3rd uh, for that action that we took. Um, the next update and the next thing leading up to the, the campaign launch on Monday is tomorrow, we're really excited about this relationship. You know, part of Land Back campaign and part of the Land Back uh, narrative that we're holding is to really uh, hold collective liberation and to really deepen our relationship with our movement brothers and sisters and relatives in a way that we all work together and that we all truly are uniting and moving towards this vision of liberation where all of us can live free of fear and free of oppression and and that's what we truly believe and we truly hold that and and with that you know, we're, we're partnering with Movement for Black Lives and Rising Majority and Working, Fam um, Working Families Party and the Frontline Campaign to have a webinar tomorrow. So on Saturday, October 10th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, go to our Facebook page and our Twitter page and um, join us for a webinar. And the webinar is titled Land Back building a movement for collective liberation and we really want to dive into these conversations and, and support each other and be there with each other and, and invest in each other in this way and deepen those relationships and so we'll be having those conversations we'll be naming those things we'll have folks that i have a lot of respect for and who i admire and and look up to for mentorship on this webinar speaking and sharing and, and giving their knowledge and their guidance and their energy to us and so we're definitely really thankful and really excited for that webinar that'll be again tomorrow Saturday October 10th 1 p.m. Mountain Time uh, join us on our Facebook it'll be streaming live there it'll also be on our Twitter account live so join us in any of those places on our social media we're super excited to have those conversations you know there's some some big folks uh, big as an energy folks that will be with us so it'll be good conversation and it'll be a place where we can all collectively learn and grow together and, and build out this this uh, idea of how this movement of what we want to see moving forward together. So join us for that tomorrow. Um, you know, that's one of the many things that is happening, building up to the actual launch. So I encourage folks, join us then, jump on. Um, again, just to like reiterate, Saturday, October 10th, 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Join us on Facebook and Twitter. The next thing I really want to update us about is, you know, on Monday, Indigenous Peoples Day is the actual campaign launch. And, and there's a lot of moving parts to that. And I know we've been pumping out graphics, we've been pumping out messages and posts on social media. And, and I just want to kind of like bring it together and encourage folks to get involved, get engaged, participate. Uh, you know, it's kind of two parts. Uh, with the Land Back campaign launch. There's, you know, the local stuff here in Rapid City. Uh, we will be hosting, um, you know, a family friendly event afternoon where we will be having, we'll be meeting in Memorial Park at the Bandshell at 1 p.m where we will have box lunches to go. You know, we want to be mindful of COVID, so please wear a mask, please uh, socially distance, please have respect for other people's space and keep that in mind as we do gather. We want to gather in a good way and in a healthy way and in a way where people are continuing to be safe. So again, please wear a mask. Uh, 1 p.m. at the Bandshell in Memorial Park. We'll be giving out lunches. We will be doing that from one to two. And then at two o'clock, 
will come together and we will actually start to march. Uh, we're going to march to Main Street Square, downtown Rapid City, you know, not too far from Indian Collective's offices, but we're going to gather there. Uh, but on our march and on our way to Main Street Square, we're going to stop, uh, you know, at Pennington County Jail. And, you know, in kind of the same spirit as we did right before the July 3rd action is, is stop and acknowledge and pray for our incarcerated relatives, our relatives that have been criminalized um, and targeted. Right. And so we want to always make sure that we're we're holding them in prayer and that we don't forget them and that we continue to acknowledge them and that we continue to be there and continue to do the work uh, to make sure that that doesn't go on and that doesn't continue forward and that that's not the legacy that we want to push forward. And so we want to be mindful of that and continue those prayers. So we'll be stopping at Pennington County Jail. Um, saying a quick prayer and then continuing on our march until we get to Main Street Square. At Main Street Square, we should be arriving there about 3 p.m. And once we get there, we will have a full panel of folks, uh, a, you know, a lineup of speakers. And we're, we're having speakers of folks who have been doing the land back work uh, since before the land back campaign has existed. And, you know, I just want to take this moment to just reiterate that you know, the land back movement is something that has existed for generations and that as Indian Collective and as the campaign specifically, you know, we're, we're stepping into that work. We're stepping into a long legacy of organizing and sacrifice and um, work that has been happening. And, and we want to contribute. And so we're, we're finding our way to do that through the Land Back campaign. But we also want to take a minute with that panel and some of our speakers to really acknowledge folks that have, have already been doing this work and to really be able to highlight and amplify the work that's happening all across Turtle Island in, in frontline communities and communities that are currently throwing down to defend land against exploitation and desecration. And so we want to want to make sure that that day is highlighting that piece as well. And then, you know, we'll have speakers and folks share in their experiences and their connection to the land back movement and the land back campaign. And so it'll be a good day of sharing and being in community with each other. And once, once we kind of get through our speaker lineup, uh, we will have a concert. And so we're really excited about this concert. You know, there's going to be some names of artists that I'm sure y'all are going to be really familiar with, but they're, they've been working hard. They've been grinding hard and, and they're creating some fire stuff that we're super excited to put out. And so, you know, that'll be coming. We'll have a concert. We'll be able to hear some of that music. We'll be able to hear, you know, just the, the voices of these folks. And so really excited about that. Our concert, you know, an estimate time is, I would say, probably about 4.30. And so, you know, just want to go back over that agenda a little bit is like 1 p.m. We'll be meeting in at the band shell in Memorial Park where we'll be giving out box lunches. Again, we're this is a family friendly event through Indian Collective. You know, this these are the specific things that we have planned. We're only planning uh, you know, the the lunches in Memorial Park from one to two. And then from that point we'll start a march. Uh, you know, and we, we're encouraging folks to, you know, to bring your family, bring elders, and, and this is a family-friendly event that we're doing. We also want to encourage people to wear masks, to maintain social distancing, and just, just be respectful and mindful of each other's space, and, and we can do this and gather in community, but in a healthy way, in a mindful way as well. Uh, again, 1 p.m. Bandshell, 2 p.m. we'll start marching. 3 p.m. We, we should arrive to Main Street Square where we'll be having speakers and presentations happening. And we, we will also be able to stream some of the, the live events that are happening around the country of folks that are going to be supporting us. And then we'll wrap up that with a concert. So that's, that's what's happening locally here in Rapid City on Saturday, Indigenous Peoples Day, on Monday. And then, uh, you know, the other piece of that nationally is that we are calling for folks to take action nationally. We're calling for folks to continue to submit resolutions. You know, if your cities or your states haven't switched over and changed the name from Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day, we're asking folks to continue to organize and submit resolutions, march on your town halls, march on your state capitals, and demand that they do that. Uh, it's past time for that. And so, you know, demand that they catch up with everybody else 
else that has already changed. We're also asking for folks to do streetscapes, you know, in in basically uh, writing out in in large letters on the sh on streets, land back. You know, we're we're moving into that space of of really wanting to popularize and normalize the conversation that indigenous lands deserve to be back in indigenous hands, and that we are demanding our right to have stewardship in relationship to our lands. And so, you know, putting out those messages is is definitely helping spread that and normalizing those conversations in many different spaces. And so, we encourage folks to do that take action in that way and just continue to engage, continue to organize, you know, events in your community, centering land back and centering that conversation, centering that narrative. So we're calling on folks to continue to do that nationally. The other piece about the national part is, is that everything that we do on Monday here locally in Rapid City will be streamed live. So join us, you know, if you if you're someone that that can't be out right now and can't be there in those spaces, you can still participate with us, you can still engage, uh, come to the live stream, we'll be live from anywhere from 1pm until 6pm that day. We have lots of things planned. So we'll we'll work hard and make sure we're doing stuff to keep you engaged, keep you informed, um, share our voices with you uplift voices in our community, and just keep you involved overall with what's going on with the land back campaign. Our hopes also by then, by that point, we'll have an updated website where you'll be able to get more notifications and kind of keep up with everything that's going on with the land back campaign. You know, as I said, there's there's organizing happening. There's there's things happening in communities all across Turtle Island. You know, our relatives to the north, our relatives to the south. And so we want to make sure that we're doing our best to like connect and to resource and amplify those messages and those voices as well. So just wanted to name some of those things that are coming up. We're really excited about the Land Back campaign launch. Um, there's so many different moving pieces, so many different parts, um, so much like love and energy and prayers and um, strength and all of these things went into this campaign launch and went into building these relationships. And, and I can say for myself personally too that a lot of growth has happened as well with this campaign. And, and honestly, that's what I want for our people. I want our I want more for our people. I want better and I want good things for our people. And and that's what we're feeling here at Indian Collective within the Land Back campaign team, with the comms team, with all of these groups and these folks that have been throwing down and investing all of their energy into this. And you know, I just want to thank everybody for continuing to follow us, continuing to support us, and just really want to thank also the staff here at Indian Collective. Um, thank all my coworkers and folks that have just really put their heart and spirit into this work and we feel it and we feel the support from all of y'all as well and so we want to do our best to continue to update you keep you engaged and and you know provide ways for you to get engaged with the land back campaign and we're we're excited for this and we're excited for all of the creativity and the art that's coming out of this as well and you know we've been doing our best to like stay involved and keep you updated and we'll just continue to do that so i just want to say um you know to everybody for the support and just direct you back to the landback.org website you know sign up there you'll get email updates from us you know you'll you'll be the first to hear what's happening what we have upcoming uh and just really quick go over the the updates again is like Movement for Black Lives webinar called Land Back, uh, building a collective or building a movement for collective liberation will be happening on Saturday, tomorrow, October 10th, 1 p.m. Tune into Facebook Live, tune into Twitter Live. It'll be there. You know, Monday happens. You know, if you're local, you're here in Rapid City or in within the area, and you can be here. Join us in person. You know, we'll again we'll be gathering at 1 p.m. Banshell in Memorial Park. We'll be marching around two. Hopefully we'll get to Main Street Square around three. You know, those are the events and the activities that we have planned for that day and that Indian Collective will be engaged in is just those three pieces. And so and join us, you know, wear a mask, be respectful, uh, maintain a socially distance and, you know, we'll gather and be in community together. 
If you can't join us there, uh, Beyond National, you can join us on our, our live stream on Monday as well. Again, just join us on our Facebook page. We'll have all of these uh, going like live streaming during that time. And if you can't do that, take action in your own community in the ways that I listed out, um, you know, streetscapes or resolutions, marching on city halls, or just take action. Anything centering land back, anything pushing that narrative forward because we're, we're long overdue for indigenous lands to be back in indigenous hands and for us to have stewardship and relationship to the land so thank you again for tuning in uh, we'll just continue to give updates stay tuned keep an eye out for more graphics and more announcements we'll do that as much as we can and i look forward to seeing everybody on monday